So here we are taking a look at 247 Home Rescue's website. As you can see, they are fairly cheap and competitively priced. Here I am on moneysupermarket.com where I am just doing a comparison of prices on central heating and boiler cover. Again we can see 247 Home Rescue are one of the cheapest. Here we are taking a look at the terms and conditions for boiler cover with 247 Home Rescue. If we have a look at the highlighted area, section 5, 14 day cooling off period. Please note that any claim submitted within this 14 day period will be subject to a mandatory £95 excess if subsequently the breakdown is deemed to be as a result of an intermittent or pre-existing fault, the claim will be declined. In such circumstances, a pay on use service is available. Here we are looking at section 14, gas appliance and boiler cover service. If we look at the highlighted area, service safety and operational check visits where applicable will be carried out on an agreed date between the 8th and 12th month after the commencement date of your service agreement and will be arranged automatically if you are within the first eight months of your service agreement and you require an earlier service this can be arranged by bringing forward your payments to it to the amount of 60 pound payment of the 60 pound will subsequently reduce your monthly direct debit what they're saying is there is a free boiler service with some of the deals but you will have to pay £60 up front if you want to take that service out within the first eight months of your contract. This will be paid back intermittently throughout your 12-month contract. Here we are taking a look at section 18, repairs. If we look at point B, boilers aged over 11 years. Any boiler aged 11 years or over will be subject to a £75 mandatory excess. The same applies to appliances aged over five years. So bear in mind, if you do take the no excess option, you will still have to pay mandatory excess if your boiler is of a certain age. So section 29, cooling off periods and cancellations. If we look at the highlighted area, so for where you are paying by monthly direct debit, point B, where your service agreement is cancelled after the cooling off period and you have made a claim or had a boiler service, there will be a cancellation fee. For single annual payments, as you can see below, the cancellation fee is £120. Bear this in mind. So section 33, the service agreement. To me, the, to me this is the most important part. If we look at the area highlighted in bold, we are not registered with the Financial Conduct Authority. Our service plan is outside of the FCA's remit as it is a service plan. This operational model allows us a discretion to approve claims which on the strict interpretation of the terms and conditions would be declined. So here we are taking a look at the complaints process for 247 Home Rescue. So 247 Home Rescue Dispute Resolution Center is where you resolve a complaint and it has to be done online. Complaints are dealt with or responded to within eight weeks. This is stated in the terms and conditions. So here we are on the file a complaint page. Take a look at the first sentence. It's a declaration box that you have to tick to proceed with your online complaint. It states, I agree to desist from writing any comments online, including social media forums, review sites, etc. regarding my complaint and the company product I am complaining about throughout the duration of the complaint process with 247 Home Rescue. So what they are doing is stopping you from complaining about them online. 
why is this such a concern for them? Don't you think this is a strange thing to put as a declaration when a customer is making a complaint? Also have a look here at the bottom. The Financial Conduct Authority re regulate businesses that deal with contracts of insurance. 247 Home Assist Limited are not regulated as we do not offer contracts of insurance and therefore complaints are not investigated by the Financial Ombudsman Service. Just reiterating what is stated in the terms and conditions. You cannot raise this issue or any issue to the Financial Ombudsman Service. Let's have a look at some reviews of 247 Home Rescue. The most popular site for reviews is Trustpilot. As we can see, 247 Home Rescue have a lot of reviews and they're very good. 18,048 reviews on Trustpilot for 247 Home Rescue. As I'm scrolling down, I'm noticing that many of the reviews are from people that have one review two reviews and they're faceless people. This does not seem strange at first. I've decided to do a comparison. Here we look at British Gas, the most popular company in this line of business. Wouldn't you expect British Gas to have more reviews on Trustpilot than 247 Home Rescue, who are hardly a household name? As we can see, British Gas have 4,452 reviews. I've now decided to look at EDF Energy, another household name. They have 1,314 reviews on Trustpilot. Now looking again at 247 Home Rescue, does this seem strange to you that they have so many reviews? And if you scroll down on their Trustpilot page, you will see the sheer output of the reviews. Almost a review every hour on the hour. Here we're digging a little deeper and we're looking into some forums and some comments from people on 247 Home Rescue. Looking on forum websites and scrolling down, we can see there are a lot of dissatisfied customers. This is in stark contrast to what we see on Trustpilot. Here we are on Twitter and we're looking at BBC Watchdog Fred stating that they're back on screen soon. This was in 2018. There are 128 replies to this thread. Many of these are simply just happy that BBC Watchdog is back and stating that a few people are calling out companies that they want investigated. Having a look and scrolling down, you can see that there are multiple people who complain about 247 Home Rescue in this thread. So they are the most complained company in this thread. No other company appears as much as they do. For a company that has such good reviews on Trustpilot and so many good reviews, this seems strange. Here I've highlighted a reply from 247 Home Rescue. They want this individual to contact their social media department and they've given out the email address. Could the social media department of 247 Home Rescue be contributing to the Trustpilot reviews? I don't know. What do you think?
Here we are on Twitter and we've typed in 247 Home Rescue and we are looking at what people have to say. Scrolling down, you can see there are multiple complaints and people voicing their dissatisfaction with 247 Home Rescue. Again, this is not in keeping with what we are seeing about them on the Trustpilot page. Just to quickly touch on my claim, uh, I made a claim and it was declined. I was advised to go on the pay on use service. I did so. I was advised to pay £95 up front. This was not in keeping with the £75 call out charge which was stated and on the complaints page which I highlighted earlier. However, I did not know this. I paid this. An engineer came. A few days later, I got a response. Before we get to the response, I'd just like to add that the fault code showing on my boiler was F32. Here's what an expert has to say about the F32 fault code. Hello again, well we're just going to talk about the F32 fault code, which is a pretty standard fault code for the boiler on the Ecotech and Ecomax, but particularly the Ecotech. The F32 fault code is an incredibly accurate fault code. It's one of the few in the book that is actually will pinpoint the fault. So if you've got an F32 fault code, it will be specifically related to this thing here, which is the fan unit. So we've heard what the expert had to say. This was the response from 247 Home Rescue. Boiler beyond economical repair. So they took the call out fee and they advised that they would not repair. And I got this response about five, six days after they had initially come. So without heating and hot water for five or six days. So I'd just like to state that after this, I did contact another company. They came, they fixed the problem. It cost £99. And true to what the expert had said, the problem was the fan. Since then, the boiler has been working fine. There's been no issues. And I am with this company now. We are experiencing high volumes of calls. Your call is important to us. Please hold the line for the next available advisor. Did you know you can now report your breakdown or fault online? Simply visit 247homerescue.co.uk and click My Account. You can also book your boiler service online too. Simply click My Account. You are currently caller number 20. A few moments later, you are currently caller number 18. The estimated hold time is currently 5 minutes. Later, you are currently caller number 17. The estimated hold time is currently 4 minutes. 20 minutes later, you are currently caller number 16. The estimated hold time is currently 4 minutes. One hour later. You are currently caller number 14. The estimated hold time is currently 1 minute 25 seconds. Two hours later. 
You are currently caller number 13. The estimated hold time is currently 15 seconds. Six and a half hours later. You are currently caller number 12. The estimated hold time is currently 15 seconds. Uh. You are currently caller number 11. The estimated hold time is currently 15 seconds. Three weeks later. You are currently caller number 9. The estimated hold time is currently 15 seconds. Many months later. You are currently caller number 7. The estimated hold time is currently 15 seconds. 2,000 years later. You are currently caller number 5. The estimated hold time is currently 15 seconds.